this Big Daddy V from ECW. Wow. Two teams of five who will survive. The match continues until one team has been completely eliminated oh. and Umaga would love to eliminate the game physically, mentally, in every way possible early and often here. The game making the cardinal mistake there, turning his back on Umaga while he was distracted by Umaga's lumber okay. A lot of potential distractions for both men, quite frankly, with all these uh, eight lumberjacks surrounding the ring. And a Triple H thrown to the outside. Watch it, watch it. Here's where the lumberjacks come into play. Oh, good Lord. Wow. That striker got a little too close to that big right hand. And uh, Umaga hung up on the top rope by the game, who's got a break there. Swinging neck breaker. Will that be it? The game going for the cover, and Triple H. Only got a one count, says senior referee Mike Kyoto. Literally tossed into the air there by Umaga. So much strength, so much power from Umaga. And those, that big hard head of Umaga, somewhat hard to penetrate. Even with that thunderous right hand of Triple H, look at Umaga, still standing after all those right hands from the take right here. And that's why they call him the Cerebral Assassin. And now let's see how Umaga is treated on the outside. Umaga's teammates trying their best to keep uh, the other Lumberjacks at bay here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Triple H. It's a mix things up. Ripping into the pile of adversaries and getting his hands right back on Umaga. The game says that Umaga's not going to make it to Survivor Series, but maybe Umaga's thinking the same thing about Triple H. Oh, and Umaga. Body and face first into that steel ring post. And the ring steps as well on his knees. A double dose of steel for the Samoan bulldozer who steps out low base. And they set his head a little early. The game now trying to end this thing. And Umaga. Look at that Triple H over the top rope. All the way to the floor. And look at this Umaga. And it's all legal. Like a pack of wolves. It's all legal, I can tell you that. But the damage may have been done to the game. Can the game rise to the occasion? We'll find out when we come back. Man, what a battle here on Monday Night Raw, the Survivor Series kickoff edition of Monday Night Raw. The game and Umaga beating the hell out of each other in this main event. And we're live tonight. And the action is live inside the, the square circle. And the Lumberjacks surrounding the ring. Ooh. Are the game of Umaga's teammates? Yes, they are. Oh, the Survivor Series traditional elimination tag match. Uh oh, bad news, bad news. High impact. And what a swinging slam from the super heavyweight Umaga, who goes at least 350 pounds. I'm telling you, Triple H finding it next to impossible to mount any kind of offense against Umaga tonight. At least sustained offense. We can certainly agree on that point. And the game, and this is a hell of a mountain to climb, just six days before these, uh, these 10 men will be involved in the Survivor Series on Sunday. They are, are, are it's, it's still, it still amaze you, it does me that Umaga can just manhandle, throw Triple H around like almost like a rag doll in there. Triple H has been in the ring with the best and the greatest, but no man has ever physically imposed his will on the game, as has Umaga. It just says, I mean, it just goes to talk about Umaga's strength and his power. Triple H will be joined this Sunday by the Intercontinental Champion Jeff Hardy, his brother Matt Hardy, Ray Mysterio, and Kane. Those four men are at ringside as we speak as Lumberjacks. Oh, and Umaga dropping 350 at least. Umaga's going to be joined by Mr. Kennedy, Finley, MVP, and this huge Big Daddy V from ECW. And that traditional Survivor Series match is an elimination match that goes until one team is completely eliminated. You know what, Jared? You could probably eliminate all of, of Umaga's partners just leaving Umaga alone. Oh, the cow! He still could be a favorite in this match. Really? I'll tell you what, King, I don't know. I wouldn't count out those men right there under any circumstance. You know, when you got, a, when you got 10 men involved in one match, you have the potential for nine decisions. I mean, this could be a, a marathon. I mean, a huge, huge main event at Survivor Series. And the mismatch possibilities. Three on one, four on one. Oh, man, man, you gotta know. Could be over, could be over. You gotta know that the game plan of the 
game, and his team would be to somehow try to eliminate Umaga first. Oh, yeah, but what if, what if the game's teammates are eliminated? Let's say the game is left alone with Umaga in company. Oh, it could happen. Gordon right, it could happen. And that would not be pretty. You talk about surviving. Survive uh, if, if you're lucky. Imagine it being down, left down to that man, Rey Mysterio, by himself against the entire Umaga team. But it will be great to see Matt and Jeff Hardy as teammates again this Sunday. Rey Mysterio, look at Finley. How can you trust Finley? Uh oh, well, not a good landing. No, and that's a uh, Umaga certainly uh, has a hard head, but that is a situation that any man's. Look at this. Good Lord. Oh, no. oh the game scooped up Umaga, too. Oh. Too much weight, especially in the condition that Triple H is in right at the moment. Uh-oh. I'm kind of amazed that the game was, he quickly got Umaga up, but his lower back just would not sustain that, that massive weight and that, that poundage of Umaga. And look at this nerve hold that Umaga has now. This cuts off the circulation. Your arm goes numb, your fingers first, then your hand, then your arm. And you know what they say, they are one arm man. You're gonna beat many people. into this match. They don't need much help. The game needs some relief here. He needs, a, he needs some separation as the game. Oh. And Umaga just continues his relentless, straight ahead, assault weapon type style. This uh, is a, indeed a Samoan bulldozer, is Umaga. An amazing athlete for a super heavyweight. He is agile and as coordinated as anybody you'll ever and, see. And just relentless. I mean, he doesn't really care what he hits you with. Yeah. What body part or where he hits you. He is just constantly hitting you and constantly hurting you. Oh, here we go. And if that street fight we saw at Cyber Sunday in Washington, D.C., where, as you said, Umaga goes across three announce tables, oh. splashes Triple H through another table, was any indication. Just imagine how high the stakes are going to be this Sunday when you multiply it times 10. Look at Triple H's arm. Look at his hand, his right arm, JR. It's going numb on him. Trying to get the circulation going in there. And that would not be good for the game because at the end of his right arm is that deadly right hand. And the, oh, uppercut. And Umaga, you took a look at his right hand, you see that, that huge thumb all taped up. That's his Samoan spike. And the game is trying to ward off those punches, but to no avail. These lumberjack matches are no disqualification. Hey, look at Kennedy, look at Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy. Inside the ring. Absolutely not. Well, you got men with no character. And Finley, Kennedy, MVP, and Big Daddy V, they don't care about the rules. They don't care about anything. But hurting her. Look at, him. Look at this. Missed him. Missed him. Boy, that, was a, that was a survival tactic there by the game to avoid the onslaught of, uh, of Umaga. Oh. And Umaga's own momentum took his head to the, turn, to the post and the other post. Umaga. Oh. Umaga's hard head, no match for two ring post shots. And now the game, building momentum. The DDT, the, DDT, the ring post, the, the DDT, DDT, the cover, the hook of the That was close, I mean really close. About a half a count away. The ring post has, has almost tag partners for the game, but somehow Umaga's back up. No, nice move. That base buster, Umaga's still, st still up. Here we go, Dan. Every time. Yes! Yes! The counter! No. Counter! Into the Samoan drop. A, a hugely devastating Samoan drop from the 350 pounder who countered. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, partner screaming, finishing. Spike. The Samoan the spike. Spike. They do it. Oh. Miss. The man going for the spike. Yes. They got the spine master. Oh, baby! The spike. Hey, hey, hey Finley's in the ring. Wait a minute. What the hell, Finley? Muskogee, this is a barroom brawl. It's completely out of control here. Everybody's 